Father, we want to say thank you. We give you all the praise. Lord, we give you glory. I will give you honor and adoration. For there is no one like unto you, Lord. And there is none, absolutely none, to compare with thee. We adore you. We glorify your name. Hallowed be your name forevermore. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen and amen. This is day 27 of our 40-day fast. And we just, want, we just want to give God praise, glory, honor, and adoration. God has indeed been so, so very faithful. I can feel your prayers, even in this prayer altar and in my own life, either days the enemy says, no, you can't do this. You need to take a step backward. But oh no, we're not like those that draw back. The Bible says that we are the ones that would take it to the end. The Bible makes us to know that God is a completer. We complete things. We are not quitters in the name of Jesus. His strength is made perfect in our weaknesses. I want you to always remember that when things are not working the way you think they should work, just remember that he who has begun a good work in your life, in my life, will perfect it in the name of Jesus. I just want us to be in the mode where we are aware of what the enemy is doing. Please don't be ignorant of the devices of the enemy. We started talking about you not giving leverage to the enemy by your confession. And God has been saying that to me a lot. Don't give the leverage to the enemy if you say things that are contrary to the word of God for your life and in the lives of other people, you are giving him a leverage. The Bible calls him the prince of the power of the air until you confess with your mouth that you have a particular sickness, you have not stamped it yet. Once you say it, you stamp it. Let the weak say, I am strong. Do not say things against your family, against your children, against you know, people around you. And I'm just going to remind you before we go into the scripture of today. Please, I want to remind us that by December 11, we're going to be starting at 5. So we can really go deep into the word of God. Um, tomorrow, yesterday's service was wonderful. And I'm just going to read this scripture again so you understand from the book of James chapter 3 and verses 1 to 12. Not many of you should become teachers, my brothers, for you know that we who teach will be judged with greater strictness. For we all stumble in many ways. And if anyone does not stumble in what he says, he is a perfect man. You are perfect if you do not stumble in what you say. The Bible wants us to speak the word of God and not the word from your mind. Your mind exaggerates things and is always driven to the negative. So you cannot say what you're thinking. Somebody said, but I like to say the truth. That truth is not what you're saying. You're speaking facts. And it's only the truth that you know that will make you free. The fact that you keep confessing will be multiplied in your life. Father, I just pray, Lord, that you deliver our tongue today in the name of Jesus. We are still in the mood of, you know, praying deliverance prayers. But we don't want to give a leverage to the devil. The Bible says if we put baits into the mouth of horses so that they obey us, we guide their whole bodies as well. Look at the sheep also. Though they are so large and are driven by strong winds, they are guided by a very small ruder. Wherever the wheel of the pilot directs, so also the tongue is a small member, yet it boasts of great things. How great a forest is set ablaze by such a small fire. And the tongue is a fire a world of unrighteousness. The tongue is set among our members, staining the whole body, setting on fire the entire course of life, and set 
on fire by hell this is very scary your tongue can set on fire the entire course of life your journey your tongue can terminate your journey your tongue can redirect your life just what you are saying so do not give leverage to the enemy don't give him a raw material to work with he is the prince of the power of the air when you speak into the air he takes whatever you're saying and uses it against you so you're fighting but please don't play into his hands i want us to know that we are not wrestling against flesh and blood you need to understand that this life is a battlefield first john 5 4 whatsoever is born of god whoever is born of god overcomes the world if there is no fight there is no need to overcome this is the victory that overcomes the world if there's no battle then there is no victory we are on a battle field stop playing this life like you it's a playground this world is not a playing ground that is why you can afford you know to to just goof around that's why you cannot do whatever you want to do proverbs chapter 27 the proverbs of today verse 8 says like a bird that strays from its nest is a man who strays from his home the word of God make the word of God your home make your the house of God your habitation the Bible says you are like a bird that strays away from the nest when you stray away from your home I'm sure most of us know Psalm 21 1 to 10 if you have not prayed with it you need to learn to pray with it like I said we are doing a lot of fighting we are coming against you know rulers of darkness of this world i don't want you to live in this world being naive there are traps that are being set on a daily basis that you woke up this morning it's the doing of the lord that i'm speaking to you right now i know the battle i have fought this morning just not to come and say what i am saying today but so i don't want you to take it lightly you are in a battlefield whenever you are saying things that you shouldn't be saying go fight and don't confess do not give the devil a raw material to work with the bible says he who dwells in the shelter of the most high remember i said if you stray away from home you are like a bird that strays away from the nest but if you dwell in the shelter of the most high you will abide under the shadow of the Almighty he who dwells in the shelter of the Most High do not leave the covering of God don't leave don't stray away from under him not for a moment I want you to always I started talking last week about being praiseful because when you are praiseful when you are thankful you are in God's presence the Bible says enter into his gate with thanksgiving and into his court with praise and so whenever you're thankful you're praiseful you are under his covering so i don't want you to be grumbling complaining and feeling depressed you know and yes i know it's a brain thing but you need to be intentional and say no i cannot be down here i am taking back my power depression will not take power from me anxiety will not take power from me sickness will not take power from me relational problem will not take my power i take back my power in the name of jesus and i'm praising god i'm glorifying his name i see what god is doing in my life whenever you're not seeing what god is doing and all you see is what is not going right the enemy wants you to speak something so that he can take it he who dwells in the shadow of the most High will abide under the shadow of the almighty I will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. I trust in the Lord. The Bible says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean onto your own understanding in all your ways. Acknowledge him. I will trust in the Lord for he will deliver 
you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence the lord will deliver you the lord will deliver me from the snare the snare is a trap of the fowler the lord will deliver you from the trap of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence it will cover you with his pinions and under his wings you will find refuge you say i will find refuge under the wings of the almighty god his faithfulness is a shield and a buckler you will not fear the terrors of the night nor the arrows that flies by day nor the pestilence that stalks in darkness nor the destruction that wastes a new day because they are all everywhere the enemy is uh, is in the air and so is always looking for how to entrap you in one thing or the other and my prayer for you today is you are delivered uh, by the power in the name of Jesus uh, in the mighty name of Jesus you will not fall into the trap of the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus because you have made the Lord your dwelling place the most high who is your refuge who is my refuge no evil shall befall you no plague will come near your tent or your dwelling place no evil will befall me i want you to say it over and over no evil will befall me and no plague will come near my dwelling no evil will befall me and no plague will come near my dwelling no evil will befall me and no plague will come near my dwelling place no evil will befall me and no plague will come near my dwelling place in the name of Jesus uh, I prophesy right now in the mighty name of Jesus that the Lord is your light and your salvation you will fear no evil in the name of Jesus a thousand may fall at your side 10,000 at your right hand, but none shall come near you. Only with your eyes shall you behold the reward of the wicked in the mighty name of Jesus. And Satan, I come against you. I pull down your strongholds in the name of Jesus. I destroy your works this day in the name of Jesus. I resist you and I bind you in the name of Jesus. We cover ourselves body, soul, and spirit in the blood of the Lamb. Amen and amen. No evil will befall me. No plague will come near my dwelling place. Ecclesiastes chapter 9 and verse 12. The Bible says, For man does not know his time. Like a fish that are taken in an evil net, and like birds that are caught in a snare, so the children of man are snared at an evil time. When it suddenly falls upon them, this is not your portion in the name of Jesus. You will every trap that the enemy have set, he will fall into his own trap in the name of Jesus. He will fall into his own net in the mighty name of Jesus. You are covered. The angels of God, they are all around you. They will bear you up on their wings in the name of Jesus. You will not... You will not hit your leg or your foot against a snow, a stone in the name of Jesus. I see you going and I see the angels of God are all around you, hovering around you, protecting you in the mighty name of Jesus. I see them protecting your children, our children in the mighty name of Jesus. Every trap that the enemy has set for our children, for our partners in the name of Jesus, they will fall into it in Jesus name. I decree and declare that everything that we have that is in their coven, in their witchcraft coven, it shall catch fire, the fire of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Where Ever our names are being mentioned for evil in the name of Jesus the fire of God will respond when they evoke us in the name of Jesus the fire of God will respond when they evoke us in the mighty name of Jesus father we thank you we give you praise the Lord is my light and my salvation whom shall I fear Psalm 27 the Lord is the strength of my life of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, came up against me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Do an whole shall camp against me, my heart shall not fear. 
Although war rises up against me, in this will I be confident. One thing have I desired of the Lord, and that will I seek after that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in this temple. For in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in this pavilion. In the secret place of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me up upon a rock. And now shall my head be lifted up above my enemies round about me. Therefore will I find his tabernacle sacrifices of joy. I will sing, yea, I will sing praises unto God. Hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice, and have mercy also upon me, and answer me. When thou said unto me, seek him my face. My heart said unto thee, thy face, O Lord, will I seek. Hide not thy face away from me, and put not your servant away in anger. Thou wilt be my help. Leave me not, neither forsake me, O God of my salvation. When my father and my mother forsake me, then the Lord will take me up. The Lord will raise you up when you are forsaken. Do not look for protection of men. I just quoted Psalms 27. I said, make sure that you have scriptures memorized. There are times the enemy will want to catch you, but because you have scripture stored, you have what to release. And so don't take the word of God for granted. Don't just read it and just you know, browse it. No, I want it. It's a serious business. This world is a battle field and the enemy is combating you in your mind and so you need a sound mind and that is a mind of Christ you need the word of God a mind of the word you don't want the enemy taking you down in the name of Jesus he will it will not and that's why we're having this you know daily praying you know so we can empower ourselves so we can fortify ourselves i pray in the name of jesus uh, that you will live in victory in the mighty name of jesus i want us to also read the bible from the book of ephesians if you have your bible please open to the book of ephesians chapter 6 from verse 10 the bible says finally be strong in the lord and in the strength of his might don't be put your strength in whatever you do be strong in the lord let your strength be in the lord take up the strength of god finally be strong in the lord don't run away from god be strong in the Lord you don't need muscles you need spiritual muscle be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might I am strong in the Lord I put my faith in God in the name of Jesus I want you to do the same put on the whole armor of God you are not fighting. The Bible says the battle is the Lord's, but you have to be on the front. You have to be there, but God doesn't want stray bullets hitting you. Be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the schemes of the devil. He uses schemes. Yesterday, we talked about you making sure that your mouth is not used against you. Your words, your tongue is not used against you. You need to pray for your tongue every day. Lord, I am slow to speak. I'm quick to hear. I'm slow to anger. Because when you are angry is when you speak deadly things. That's the reason the Bible says all things are lawful, not all things are helpful alcohol is not helpful anything that takes control from you that makes you say things see it is not a bad it's not just it's just that it is not helpful i have seen people say deadly things simply because they are drunk it is not the alcohol that is the problem is you giving your power to alcohol it is not good it is not helpful 
do not fall for the schemes of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood. Your enemy is not that person. The enemy we are up against, they're not humans. They're not flesh and blood. So you are fighting a wrong person. If you are in a battle with anybody, that's why I said, see, if you decide anybody's your enemy, be careful. If you think it's a human, at least leave God to do that battle for you. Just do what you've got to do. Speak positive. The Bible says if you consider anybody your enemy, pray. Pray for them. If they are hungry, give them food. You'll be heaping hot coals on their head. Don't do tit for tat. Put on the whole armor of God. We're not wrestling against flesh and blood. We are wrestling against rulers, against authorities against the cosmic powers over the pre this present darkness against spiritual forces of evil i'm reading ephesians chapter 6 and i start reading from verse 10. the spiritual forces i'm in verse 12, 12 now of evil in the heavenly places Therefore, verse 13, take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day. Take up not some of the armor, take up the whole armor, everything, use everything that you may be able to stand so you do not have the stray bullets. Take on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand in the evil day. And having done all to stand firm. When you have the whole armor, the next thing is just stand firm. Be still. And know that God is God. He will fight the battle. Show up in the whole armor. Don't do nothing. Don't try to fight anything. The battle is the Lord's. Verse 14 stand therefore having fastened on the belt of truth fasting on the belt of truth and having put on the breastplate of righteousness right standing and right doing right standing when you say jesus come into my heart and be my Lord and Savior. If you have not done that, please do that today. Say, Lord Jesus, I come to you today. I believe you died and you rose from the dead. You are my Lord and Savior. Forgive me my sin. Come into my heart. Be my Lord and my Savior. In Jesus' name, I am born again. Amen. That is, you are righteous. When you say this, and then begin to offer your body a living sacrifice. Don't say it's hard. God just needs a willing heart and an obedient heart. He will begin to take away that which is not meant to be in you. If you offer him and you're staying on the word of God, guide on, put on the belt of truth and put on the breastplate of righteousness, the shoes for your feet. Having put on the readiness given by the gospel of peace. Not just any gospel. The gospel of peace. Guard your feet with that. Be ready to prepare yourself. Be ready to stay prepared for the gospel of peace. All the time. Follow peace with all men. Let men know that Jesus is Lord. Be a written epistle. Guard your feet with the readiness given by the gospel of peace. Be ready at all times. In season and out of season, don't be like the figure tree that said, I'm out of season and so I'm not going to give fruit to Jesus. And the tree was cursed. Prepare your feet. Guard with your feet the readiness 
given by the gospel of peace. Be ready at all times. There is no season where you are off and on. Be ready at all times. Verse 16, in all circumstances, take up the shield of faith by faith, by faith. That's when you say without faith, it is impossible to please God. The just shall live by faith. Anyone who withdraws is not worthy of the kingdom. Every day, every season, the just will live by faith. He will die without faith. And faith without works is dead. Believing God and confessing that Jesus is Lord at all times is faith. Let the weak say, I am strong, is faith. Add works to your faith. The Bible says at all times, hold on the shield of faith. When you hold the shield, the shield means that the enemy is throwing things at you and just be blocking it with the shield of faith. It protects you, the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming darts of the evil one and take the helmet of salvation. Oh, that is the most important because if they hit your head, you're gone. And I know you're saved today. Have that helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. That's why December 11, we're starting Bible studies in depth search in the word every day because this is the evil time it's not a time to be gisting and gossiping and talking about what government is doing and what government is not doing this is a time for you to fortify yourself so you don't get into the trap that the enemy has laid the sword of the spirit which is the word of god praying at all times in the spirit with all prayer and supplication praying at all times in the spirit if you are not born again today i know you are if you have said the sinner's prayer and today in the name of jesus if you are not baptized in the holy spirit receive the baptism of the holy spirit in the name of the father and of the son and the holy spirit and begin to pray in the the spirit pray in tongues he that prayeth in the spirit and defieth himself that's what the bible says in the book of jude verse 20 chapter 1 verse 20 when you pray in the spirit anyone that prays in the spirit is fortifying himself is edifying himself and i know that this is your portion praying at all times in the spirit with all prayer and supplication to that end, keep a lot with all perseverance, making supplication also for all the saints. Don't pray for yourself alone. Pray for everybody. Pray for me. Pray for you know your family members. Don't curse them out. Pray, pray, pray. Pray for your enemies. Pray for your neighbors. Pray for your co-workers. Pray for your husband. Pray for your wife. Pray for everybody that is around you. Pray for your, your pet, your dogs, your cats. You know, you don't want the enemy possessing them in your home because he's always looking for where to go and hide. Pray, lay hands in the name of Jesus. And today, Lord Jesus, we partake of your body for it was broken for our sakes. And your blood that was shed in the name of Jesus. We partake of this communion today. And we ask, oh God, that as we take of the communion, we are protected, we are shielded from the from the wiles of the enemy in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy ghost amen i want you to take your anointing oil and put on your pound as we'll make this affirmation and just say in the name of jesus I'm a new creation. All things have passed away and all things have become new. I walk in the spirit and I do not fulfill the lust of the flesh. I am emotionally intelligent and I'm becoming a better version of myself through a renewed mind. I have the mind of Christ and I understand the things of the spirit. My past is not an obstacle to my future, but a testimony. I am stronger. 
than any challenge and I choose to make the most of every situation or opportunity. I love God. I love myself and I love people. Today is a good day and good things will happen to me for me and through me. I am brimming with energy. I'm overflowing with joy and I embrace who I am. I strive to learn with an open and a positive mindset. I am time obedient and I'm slow to speak. I'm quick to hear and I'm slow to anger. I walk in love, joy, and peace. I am good, kind, and gentle. I am faithful and I'm patient. I have self-control. I am walking in God's purpose for my life. I have an excellent spirit. I am a positive influence. I will commit to smiling today in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you. We worship you, Lord. Today is a good day in the name of Jesus. Go in the strength of God. Remember, let your feet be guarded with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. Be ready in season and out of season. Speak positive things all the time. Do not make enemies. Pray for everyone around you. Don't give fire for fire. God is fighting your battle. And I know that you're shielded. Remember, learn to memorize Psalm 27. Memorize Psalm 27. Start today. You can take one verse at a time or two verses at a time. Memorize it so you are able to say it even in your car. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. I want you to learn to meditate on the word of God in that kind of way with whether you have your Bible or not, you have scriptures that you can speak so that the enemy knows is in a wrong place. I love you so much. I love you so much. And remember that December 10, we're giving our first fruit seed. So begin to keep praying. God give me seeds. God give seed to the sower and bread to the eater. And December 11, we're starting school of leadership or school of discipleship please it's like a bible studies that is deep and we're, we're disciples of jesus we want to follow after his steps footsteps we want to live in victory and that's the only way you can live in victory through the word of god and i know that you will you will walk in victory please you can also invite people um don't just limit it to just yourself invite people to uh, be in the school of discipleship i want to remind you pray for me i need it like no man's business i covet your prayer pray that god will keep me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake pray that god will keep my children my family don't be in destruction pray for this prayer altar that god will keep building it and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it also remember to give we give on a daily basis go to the app and give give a dollar a day a dollar or more a day and save every day and God will give you the good of the land. I love you so much and stay blessed. Amen. And